Prabhupada wanted us to come here and worship Radha and Krishna. And he explains in some nice quotations what does it mean to worship Radha and Krishna. In Prabhupada's own words, we can just close with some uh, description of that. He says, Prabhupada says, we should be more interested in worshipping Radharani than Krishna. This is in Vrindavan in 1975. When Vrindavan, we find that devotees chant Radharani's name more than they chant Krishna's name. Wherever we go in India, we will find devotees chanting Radhe Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Radhe Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Shri Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Radhe Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Shri Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Radhe Radhe Jaya Radhe Jaya Shri Radhe We should be more interested in worshipping Radharani. For however fallen we may be, if somehow or other we can please Radharani, we can very easily understand Krishna. If we try to understand Krishna by the speculative process, we'll have to spend many lifetimes. You know, with, in other words, speculative means with our mind. With your mind, if you try to understand Krishna, his, his, Krishna is a chintya shakti. How can you understand a chintya shakti? Vishnu says, you, trying to understand Krishna with your mind is trying to it's the same as trying to put an elephant on a saucer. Trying to accommodate an elephant on a small tali. Your mind is like a tali. Our minds are like tallies. An elephant, you know, you can't. It's impossible. To so you can't... How can... With your speculation, with your mind, how can you understand Krishna? You can't. Forget it. So, take shelter of Radharani. We will have to spend many lifetimes. But if we take to devotional service and just try to please Radharani then Krishna can very easily be realized. Radharani is such a great devotee that she can deliver Krishna. This is Radharani. This is from Bhagavad Gita in 73 in London, in Radhasthami lecture. On Radhasthami, Prabhupada gave a class from Bhagavad Gita and talked about Radharani. If someone approaches Srimati Radharani and begs for her mercy, she will say, Krishna, oh Krishna, here is a devotee. He's better than me. That's what she'll say. This is Radharani. I may not be a devotee. I may be a most fallen rascal. But if I try to reach Krishna through Radharani, then my business will be successful. Therefore, we should worship Radharani first. Hare. This is our business. Instead of offering one flower to Krishna, you just put that flower in the hands of Radharani and you say, My mother... Radharani, O oh, Jagan Mata, that if you kindly take this flower and offer it to Krishna. Oh, Radharani says, Oh, you have brought a flower? You see in Vrindavan, the temples established by the Goswamis, there's a mixture, there's two, kind, two lines of service going on there. One is called the Archan Mark, the other is called Bhav Mark. Bhav Mark means the path of love, path of attachment, the path of feeling. So oftentimes in the path of Archanmarg, there's rules and regulations and yama niyam, but no feeling. Although feeling must be there, or else Prabhupada said it becomes idol worship. He said when we're doing puja, if there's no feeling, then it's idol worship. It is Golograha. So in the Vrindavan temples, there is this Bhav Mark and there is this Archanmarg. So when they offer garlands to Krishna, they don't just say, Idam Pushpam, Klim Krishna, Yanama, Idam Pushpam, Idam Pushpam, Malyam, Klim, and all these kind of mantras and tantras. They throw some water on it, some Jamuna water on the garland. Then they take the garland that they want to offer to Krishna. And they take that garland and they touch it to, Dhamma, to, to Radharani's hand. They touch it to Radharani's hand and then they put it around Krishna's neck. Because Krishna doesn't really care so much for the rose garland, but he cares unlimitedly for the fragrance of Radharani's lotus hand. You go to Delhi and buy lotus flowers and you offer them to Krishna. That's very nice. Very nice expression of trouble and care. But Krishna doesn't care about the fragrance of lotus flower. He cares about the fragrance of Radharani's lotus hand. So when you touch the garland to Radharani's lotus hand, it picks up the beautiful fragrance of her body, Gandharvika. And that garland is offered to her. So this is called Bhav Mark. So this is how they offer garlands. Krishna says, Patram Pushpam Valam Toyam Yome Bhakti Prachati. So we touch the, to Radharani's hand and then we offer to Krishna. Now how do you offer a garland to Radharani? Well, 
You take Krishna's garland off and put it on Radharani, that's one way. The Krishna Prasad. Or if you have a garland, you take it and you touch the Krishna's feet. Because Radharani worships the dust of Krishna's feet. She takes those feet and holds him on her breasts. And she worships those feet. So you take your garland and you touch the Krishna's feet and then you offer it to Radharani. This is Bhav Marg. So Prabhupada is telling us here something about Bhav Marg. You take the flower and you say, Oh Radharani, and you put the flower in Radharani's hand. That's why we, Sri Guru, our Guru, our spiritual master is a representative of Radharani. We put everything in his hand. Brahmachari goes out, Brahmacharini, whatever, goes out and collects a million rupees in a day, and at night they put it in the hand of Guru. Here, Guru Dave, here's, here's the Dakshin, here's my collection. Putting in the hand of Guru means putting in the hand of Radharani. Guru's hand is Radharani's hand. Radharani's hand in front of us is Guru's hand. We put our heart in Guru's hand. We put our life in Guru's hand. That is Guru Bhakti. Guru Bhakti becomes Radha Bhakti. Radha Bhakti becomes Krishna Bhakti. If there's no Guru Bhakti, there's no Radha Bhakti. So Prabhupada is explaining this very nice way that we worship Krishna by worshipping. Don't offer Krishna directly. Just offer to Radharani. It will be very much appreciated by Radharani. So this is our philosophy to preach Krishna to Radharani. And today is the auspicious day of Radhastami. So we should offer Pushpanjali and pray to Radharani. Here's the prayer of Prabhupada. This is Prabhupada's prayer that he gave on Radhastami. Oh Radharani, please be merciful to me and tell about me to your Krishna. Oh Radharani, please be merciful unto me and tell about me. Tell about me to your Krishna. Krishna say Tumar. Krishna say Tumar. Krishna is yours, not mine. I want him to be mine. And I want, I want you to be mine. And I want to be yours. But first I have to become Vaishnav Kukur Tamar. Ami Vaishnav Kukur. First let me become the Kukur. Ami Kukur. Uh, let me become the Kukur, the dog of the Vaishnava. Then I can become the servant of Radharani. He said, Krishna is yours. Krishna is not independent. Krishna is Radharani's property. So you have to approach Krishna through Radharani. <laughs> Worship Radharani very nicely and be happy. In another place, Prabhupada says that the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they like to see, in one purple, which is in this uh, Vrindavan book, Prabhupada said the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, that's us, they like to see that Krishna is a doll, is a doll dancing in the hands of Radha. <laughs> is dancing. Krishna is dancing in the hands of Radharani. This is what the Gaudiya Vaishnavas like to see. That Krishna himself is dancing for Radharani. And he's serving Radharani. So final point, Prabhupada says that Radharani is the internal potency of Krishna. Radharani eternally intensifies the pleasure of Krishna. Radharani eternally intensifies the pleasure of Krishna.